received today. You, you the same. Uh, before we get started, um, I just want to tell you a little bit about um, what happens at counseling sessions. This is your first time here. And um, talk just a little bit about confidentiality. Is that okay? Oh, yeah. So, um, this is a counseling relationship, and we'll, we'll meet for um, several weeks, um, as long as we determine we need to keep meeting. And uh, during that time, we're going to talk about whatever you feel like you want to talk about. Um, and I'll be asking you questions, and we'll, we'll just work together to sort of figure out um, how you're feeling and what you're thinking. And sometimes I might ask you a question that, um, or I'll understand something that you've said, and I might not understand it right. And I want you to feel free to correct me, because this is your time, and I'm here to, to work with you and help you. Um, there are a couple things I want you to know about confidentiality. Um, whatever you say here stays here. I won't share it with anyone. Uh, but I do have a couple exceptions to that. Um, if you were to share with me that you were thinking about killing yourself, if I got a sense that you were going to kill yourself, um, or if you wanted to really hurt someone else or kill someone else, um, those are things I would have to tell outside of here. But we would talk about it first. But I have a legal and ethical responsibility to protect people, including you. Um, the other situation would be is if you told me that you were engaged in um, abusing a child or an older person or someone with a disability, um, then I would have to report that as well. But again, we would talk about those things first. I would never share something outside of this session without us talking about it. Does that make sense? Yeah, I understand. It's very good. Good, good. So tell me a little bit about why you've come in to see me today. I recently got, I was recently bullied from another student in my class. And he was teasing me that I was gay. It's really sad. So I'm here for some problems with her. Make me feel better, please. I'm very sorry to hear that. You want to tell me a little bit about what happened specifically? me like a prisoner would in the bathroom and I didn't really have any choices. I had no power. I couldn't get out of the bathroom. I was really nervous. And keep it up my face. Can you see the bruise? Right there? A little bit. And that was just an awful experience. He just kept beating me up for two straight hours. It was in the morning before school started. It sounds very terrible. It sounds like you were really scared. And I, I know, it was horrible. And I've never been in a situation like that before. It's the first time I've ever experienced that. It was absolutely horrible. I felt like I was raped. I mean, I wasn't raped, but that's, it just felt so like I was in control. So, what do I do? Do I tell my parents? What should I do? Well, have you told anyone other than me at this point? You're the only person. 
person. I'm really embarrassed, and I don't want people to think that I'm a pussy or I'm weak or whatever. I don't want people to think that, you know, I'm a baby and then, or cry baby and I can't handle it. So you had this really horrible thing happen, and you've been keeping that inside. Did you say this happened? I believe it happened this morning. Um, so, and it's only the afternoon, so I haven't been, you know, stressing on this for a long time. So just this morning, my goodness. And no, and that was, that was here at school? Yes. Right next to the bathrooms, the boys' bathrooms. And did you go to class after this happened? Or have you not been in class this morning? I, I was in the janitor room, and I was just trying to calm down. I was so scared. I just want to stay in the dark room. I stayed there for about an hour until I left and then I decided to come home and see them. Well, I, I think that what you did was a good thing to come and see me so that we can figure out where you need to go from here. I'll tell you that, that what happened to you is not right and is uh, actually probably along the lines of criminal offense. And so I, I think that you and I should probably go together and talk um, to the principal about this. How would you feel about doing that? Will the principal tell everyone what happened? Is there going to be a lot of gossip about it? principal and I have to um, report certain things that happen in school, and bullying is one of them. But we only tell the people that need to know. So for example, the principal would have to call, uh, probably would call the police about this situation, and then the police would come and want to talk to you. I can hear that you're really nervous about this information getting out around the school. And I think that if we talked to Mrs. Smith about that, that she would be very sensitive to that as well. And we want to make sure that nobody knew about it other than the people who just needed to know. 